Hey everyone, today we'll be talking about orchids. Let's botanize. Orchids are one of the most diverse families of monocots. In fact, they're one of the most diverse families of flowering plants with over 28,000 described species. The family is globally distributed, including a handful of species native to temperate North America, where they grow as terrestrial plants, with their roots in the soil. However, the center of diversity for orchids are actually in the tropics, where they grow primarily as epiphytes, meaning that they're plants that grow on other plants. So why are orchids so diverse? Well, one hypothesis is that they have co-evolved with their insect pollinators, mostly bees. And this is evidenced by the diversity of floral morphologies that we see across orchid species. However, while there's an immense amount of floral diversity across species, orchid flowers have the same foundational layout. Like all monocots, orchid flowers are built in whorls of three. They have three outer tepals, which you can see here. And they have three inner petals two of which are often relatively simple, as you can see here. The third is heavily modified into a structure that we call the lip or the labellum, and this specializes in attracting insect pollinators. The reproductive parts of the flower are even more dramatically modified. Both the anthers and the stigma sit on this unique structure called the column. In the anther, Pollen is not born as individual grains, but rather clustered into two packets, which are called pollinia. The stigma is tucked away behind the anthers on the underside of the column. When a bee approaches the flower oriented by the labellum, the pollinia get knocked off and stuck on the top of the bee's body. As the bee goes into another flower, those pollinia will be deposited on the stigma. The whole flower sits on the ovary, which after successful pollination will develop into the mature fruit containing thousands of seeds. Orchids are also important economically as they are a major component of the horticultural trade where they're prized for their diverse floral morphologies.